Dane Bruchel simply steps on the field and makes history. Big hole to the left side. Bruchel with the keeper. And that will move the chain. Low line, Elijah Rodriguez starting at left tackle. Bruchel looking for money. He's got our Monty Foreman grace. Another first down, inside the red zone. Michelle and Jeff really forcing numbers inside of the box, one-on-one -on -one matchups outside. Michelle running from four, seven for Texans. Quick pass to Ward. He's got the first down and the cutback is signaled as a touchdown. Ward did cough up the football, but apparently that was after breaking the threshold of the end zone, and Texas is on the board. Yeah, just quick strike with the quick passing game. And that ball looked like it might have, when you watch the angle here, it might have busted loose before he even crossed this line. Very oh, close yeah. here. See what the officials get. More than likely, any play involving the touchdown, this play will be reviewed. More than likely, the ball's He's coming out. out. After further review, the ball carrier fumbled the ball short of the goal line where it went out of bounds in the end zone. The result of the play is a touchback, first and 10, UTEP. First true freshman to start the first two games of the season at quarterback. Ramonte Foreman slips out of a tackle. Notre Dame. An amazing touch pass from Shane Bouchel. There's the guy that coached. Michelle comfortable in the pocket. And Gerard Hurd has his first touchdown catch as a Texas receiver. Juice is loose for Texas. Beautiful execution. And if you're just now turning on the tape, you wouldn't have known that this guy was, was a quarterback several weeks ago. Um, just a will route on the outside to get a one-on-one -on -one matchup that they found favorable. And you see it here, this is a brilliant catch. He catches it at the highest point, secures the catch, gets his feet in bounds. Very athletic play for Gerard Hurd. I mean, that was a fine catch. And if he continues to do that, who knows? This young man may have found a permanent home. That's not a quarterback. <laughs> That's a receiver. Yeah, that was brilliant. That was Some nice. ball skills right there with Gerard Hurd. To where the punter is punting the ball and not where his where he's currently at. Plenty of room to rumble. For Chris Warren, the th it's a line controlling the line of scrimmage right now. Get out of my way, says Chris Warren. You one under Tom Mason transitioning from the 4-3 to the 3-4. Bouchel's got a one-on-one, -on -one, letting it fly to Armonti Foreman. And that's the first incomplete. My receiver is better than your DB. Let's see what happens with the one-on-one. -on -one. Down or the touchdown. Heard in motion. Coming up field, spin move. For Tyrone Swoop, since it was a forward flip. The key. And Eddie, you tap defense. Because no. then you've got a problem. Corner hit in the backfield. Away and just as quickly as that completion happens, Vontae Davis with the strip. Bouchelle looking to Gerard Hurd. They go through their first nickel back in the game. Bouchelle pressured, and he goes down. More pressure from that left side. Bouchelle sacked. On back-to-back -back plays, that's Nick Usher. It's allowed by this Texas defense this season. Last nine plays for the Texas offense, a loss of five yards. Three yards, the backfield has been all quarter, and Chris Warren the third. Deontay Foreman out in this game. Good for the Miners at linebacker. Quick pass to the outside, Warwick in space, and it's close. A freshman 
from Katie. Left side of the line. Holding offense, number 72. 10 yard penalty. Repeat first down. This level, and, and it's obvious here today. We saw him playing the opening against Notre Dame, but he was playing left guard off the bench. And guys, we heard from Don that Dad Shackelford was getting his ankle checked out in the locker room as Bouchelle finds John Burt. That's going to give him the short and quick passing game to work with. First catch for Burt. Flushed out of the pocket. Lawrence Montague with the pressure. And it's a hook shot from Bouchelle. Personal foul. Roughing the passer. Defense number 16. 15-yard penalty. Automatic first down. Action would indicate. Led Conference USA in sacks and tackles for loss a year ago. The keep from Bouchelle, well timed, and he's got the first out of Kyle Porter's belly, and they're going. Prizes for Texas, they were able to land him out of Katie. Bouchelle pressured, nifty move to get away initially, heaves it up. Inked out wide to the right side. Heard with the draw. Got to come back, strain, fight, um, to get back to where you know you can be. Arguably, this game is being played without the best offensive player, though. Zach Shackelford has been dealing with an ankle issue in the locker room. John Burke gets pushed. And so that they can prevent themselves from going over the top. Patient running in the backfield. Jones misses the tackle, and that is what this offensive front, much different looking than what we saw last week. Terrell Cooney now at right guard. Foreman, first down. Michelle looking to his right, he's got John Burt overthrows. Michelle 10 of 13. Back to war. At this point in time, you want to eat up the final two minutes, though? No, you're trying to score. Ward takes a shot, but he's inside, inside the red zone. Texas has yet to score a touchdown in a red zone opportunity. Pump fake. We're out. Petey Ward didn't get it the first time, but he gets it here. of his Texas career. What's the touch here on this pass, Keith? I mean, Perfectly thrown second ball. week in a row, we've seen him just really put a ball on the money in the back of the uh -oh. end zone. That's close. Uh-oh. I'll review this one, but the ball, the ball placement. And we've heard about this young man's accuracy once, once again, giving his wide receiver an opportunity to make a play. Oh. But the one stat that jumps off the page right there for me is Texas has had great starting field position True. in this ball game and has taken advantage of it. Yeah, give UTEP credit. They've been able to play most of the first half without three starting offensive linemen. Left tackle, Connor Williams, center, Zach Shackelford, and the right guard, Kit Perkins. Michelle off to the races, cutting back. And fly shell to put the ball down. They need him with the tackle, bring it up, third and three. Quick pass in and out of the hands. I believe that's the first target in the career of Devin Duberday. Looks like that Texas defense has been pitching it three and out. Warren taking it to the far side. He's wide receiver at 6'6", the tallest wide receiver to play the position. Has some one-on-one -on -one opportunities down there. Rod Hurd trying to make a man miss. First downs equal fast. Bouchel feels the pressure and gets clocked. Fourth and short. And the keep from Bouchel. They should tough. That's Gerard Hurd. Game. Gino Look how quick that ball gets out. Come back to the football. Warren KO. Warren! Nearly. 
the theater. Swoops up tempo with the keeper. With it, and this is what he's built for right here. Warren stretches out the football, loses it. It appears that Smokey has good reason to fire. In possession of the ball. Touchdown. And that makes it official. We got fireworks, Samad. Literally. <laughs> Now the offensive line, great push. You didn't see any UTEP defensive lineman even next to him when he crossed that, that line. And that goes back to the domination we were talking about. When you can get going on offense, the offensive line doing a good job there of clearing the way. Big fellas up front. Always better with the little Texas football. Shane Bouchel, the keeper, gives himself up with the... And they can get back on the ball. Play action. He's got a man. Dorian Leonard running by the UTEP defense and Bouchel dropped that into the wow. long outstretched arms of the junior from Longview. Yeah, he can stretch the field with his arm and he doesn't shy away from making the difficult throw. That time there, Leonard getting on top of the defensive back. <laughs> I mean, and I don't know if you could have thrown that ball any better, Keith. I mean, could it landed in, in his hands team. like a loaf of bread. The weight of it was perfect. The location, Bouchelle with a big boy ball there. There's going to be some big numbers in the passing game. No way to simulate this kind of speed in practice. Warwick in space, looks to tackle. First down. Seniors that I was talking about being very liable for this team. William Leonard with his second cap told us that he's made aware of which players have certain amounts of touches. So he, to get them a little love, get them into the game, and also keep in mind someone that has the ability to make a big play. Colin Johnson to be able to manage the personalities and the egos of this team. Warren sitting at 94 yards. The Irish, he's foreman, had over 100 yards in that game. Third and long, Michelle has time, but swallowed up. But for the inside receivers as a whole, Kyle Porter gets a hole. It's to the inside guys and the inside receivers like Warwick and Hurd. They kept getting and heard narrowly miss that touchdown off the toss from Shane Bouchelle. So they have a little bragging rights here. Like Carroll, he was a running back. Yeah. I mean, just a very talented prospect, and I look forward to seeing him develop here in the Burnham Church. Warwick slipping a tackle. Oh, yes. yep. Back to the inside receiver, Ja'Cory Warwick, breaking a tackle. Will Jordan has the best hands on the team. Bouchelle the key. See that? There was a little option. Surprised to find single digits in the locker. Another open man, and no surprise, Gerard Hurd into the end zone for the second time. Smokey is getting a workout here in the second half. It's also the second time you've seen that type of play design with what they call um, a double move. Uh, you, you saw the pump fake that really draws in the defenders. Watch Bouchel here on this initial fake to his left. Boom, right there that sets up the defenders and creates a pocket in the back of the end zone as Hurd was pretending to run that quick pass that they've run and slept right out into the back just like Ja'Cory Ward did. They've scored twice on that play today. You have to do this. I know we used to take that as a challenge when I played with the University of Texas, particularly our 2001 team that his team to really gauge where they're at in terms of their chemistry and camaraderie with one another. Back to back carries for Tristan Houston. Swoops showing off the arm. Chris. Devin Duvernay. Bringing it down with the flag. And will this be the first catch for distance for Devin Duvernay? 